Hey everyone, and welcome back to a brand new Backrooms video on the Brugly channel. Of course, I'm your host, Brugly, as always, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about a very, very dangerous Backrooms level called Level Ashes to Ashes. This one is extremely creepy and very, very unsettling, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it because you tend to like creepy and unsettling things. Thank you for watching, and let's hop right into the explanation of this level. But first, I want to announce that I do have a third channel called Spoogly, where I go over SCPs, real-life cryptid encounters, and missing people in national parks. So if you dig that kind of creepy stuff, go check it out. I think you're going to enjoy it. The first couple videos are already up. And now, let's get into this backwards video, shall we? So Ashes to Ashes, or level negative 319, is classified as a class 5 difficulty, and is very, very unsafe and unsecure, and it's really dangerous because of non-entity hazards. So you don't really have to worry about creatures or stuff like that attacking you, uh, it's the level itself that's gonna attack you. The level takes place inside of a really old and broken down house that's all covered in a thick layer of dust, ash, and other kinds of trash and waste. There are three bedrooms in this house, one and a half bathrooms, and there's also a basement, an attic, a living room, and a dining room, as well as a kitchen and office, but you can't even get to the basement or attic, so that's kind of lame. The temperature inside of this disgusting house is always pretty cold. It stays around 47 degrees Fahrenheit, or negative 8.3 degrees Celsius. And on top of it being cold, it also feels really damp and it smells dank and just awful, kind of like mold, as you can imagine. Now, no one knows what the outside of the house looks like because every exit is sealed with some kind of impenetrable material. And from what you'll see in a second, you don't really have time to try to exit the house like by going at the door, so no one really cares or knows what's outside. When this level was found, there was a big note carved into the table in the kitchen that pretty much says who was there and why they think they won't make it out of the level alive. One of the wanderers was 13, one was 16, one was 25, and one was 31, and that 13 and 16 year old were siblings. But that note includes some really creepy details and honestly just some terrifying stuff about why this level is dangerous. I'm just going to read you the last paragraph, and it says, I do not want to be for forgotten so find a way out this place ages you by one year every five minutes i timed it i've been trying to find a way out for six hours now i watched my sister unalive about 30 minutes ago and she since has crumbled into ash and dust i'm not too far behind but i'm exhausted i understand now why my grandfather was tired all the time i'm going to unalive here i made my peace with that i'm too tired to go any further i guess i wrote this to beg you to find a way out when you get out of here tell the others not to come to level negative 319 if they happen to find themselves here tell them to find an exit as soon as possible uh so yeah just like that note said this level makes you age one year older every five minutes that passes when you're there so if you stay in the level for six hours uh you be getting older really really quickly and this anomaly is why there's ashes all over the ground because when you are alive you literally disintegrate and fall into ash and add to that ash pile. So that is that that's so creepy. I'm like, wow, that is disturbing. There's also been some researchers that got stuck in this level after that first note was left, and they left some information on the walls written in blue crayons. Apparently, most people aren't alive at around age 85, according to this note, but one of these explorer's colleagues was actually earlier than that, and they aren't alive at age 60 from diabetes, which means that this level can make you have illnesses that you'd get normally while aging in real life, but you get it way faster here because it ages you so much quicker. The researcher who wrote those findings on the wall apparently developed some kind of illness themselves, and it was some kind of heart disease because of the rapid aging. And well... You can guess what happened to both of them. The weird thing is that this aging isn't just for humans because it affects entities that are here too. One wanderer went to the bathroom on this level and found an old hound in the bathroom, ran away from it, and then the hound started chasing and then just disintegrated because it was so old. And he just watched it turn right to dust. So, yeah. 
Now, the first person to ever make it out of this level alive and to escape and stuff was named Wanderer BB, and apparently, he was 14 years old when he got sent here, and when he left, he was 38 years old because he was trapped in the level for two hours, which made him become 24 years older than he was when he got here. He still has no idea how he got to this level, but the good news is he does know how he escaped. The way he got out was he went to the upstairs bathroom and found the mirror there, and the mirror was covered in dust and ash, obviously, so he wiped the mirror down, cleaned the ash off, and then got no clipped instantly to level zero. He was 24 years older, but he was alive, which is better than what everybody else could say. There's no way to tell how many wanderers have actually gotten to this level and never escaped because the entry is still unknown, like no one knows how you get here, but it is imperative and very important that the second you get sent here, you run upstairs to that mirror and you hope that it works to send you out because if it doesn't, you can age 24 years in two hours, so yeah. And that wraps up the video of Level Ashes to Ashes. I hope you enjoyed this one. I really like levels like this that are just absolutely insane and just have these crazy ways that you can run alive. Hope you did enjoy it, and thank you for watching. I also want to thank you so, so much for 340,000 subscribers. I just hit that while I'm recording this audio on the 29th of June, so thank you so much. For that. The channel's on track to hit 400,000 subscribers by the end of July, and that would mean so much to me if that could happen. Th that would literally be insane, like some kind of record, surely. A record for the channel, definitely. But as you all know, I am buying the full Backrooms outfit, the shirt, the pants, the hat, the socks, buying them all at 500k, and we are almost to 400k, which means we're almost to 500k. So we're inching closer by the hour, and I hope you all are ready for that. Uh, if you're watching to the end, thank you so much. I really appreciate you all, and I thank you so much for everything you do for me. You have allowed me to do my dream, uh, which is YouTube, and I, I just thank you so much for that. I, I love this, and I love you all, and I'm so passionate about this, and I have so much planned that I hope you guys are going to enjoy. Make sure to check out my second channel. If you want to see some reactions and some gameplay stuff and just more of me, we're just relaxing over there vibing. And make sure to check out my new third channel where I talk about SCP readings and cryptid encounters and just stuff like that. That's a really creepy channel for the people who enjoy that sort of stuff. But uh, thank you so much for watching and commenting and subscribing. Just everything you do, thank you so much. If you have any levels that you want me to go over, just drop them down below as I look at all of the comments that I get. I try to at least, and if I pick your level, well, that's that's pretty cool. Thank you for watching and supporting me, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!